Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning, guys. I'm actually several hours into my day already. Uh, I fell asleep while my video was uploading last night and left the phone on and it was like zero battery life. So I've already been out and running around and I got my doctor appointment in, my chiropractic appointment, and now I'm actually gonna hit the thrift store. I have to get gas, which the gas station I'm gonna go to is right next to the thrift store, and I have $10 free again. So still looking for stuff for Minneapolis Vintage Market that fit more of that demographic. So I'm gonna pop in there, see what they've got for me, and uh, maybe we'll do a thrift haul. If not, I guess I was already home and sanding on that piece that I did yesterday that I filled looks good so I'm ready to put a coat of paint on that and it's gonna be a busy day because I got a multitask so it's gonna be coat of paint go price and pack coat of paint go price and pack so it's uh, you guys I don't have a choice because I have to get both done simultaneously and that's the job and it sucks it sucks when this happens because it's like when I have a month to get ready for a picket it's it's fine but when you're adding a new booth and I don't have any time you know to get pieces done it's like yeah so I'm going to multitask not the best at that I'm okay at it so hopefully I can get pieces like the coat of paint on go price 20 minutes later, go put the next coat of paint on and then go back and pray. So it'll just be bopping back and forth instead of, you know, a lot of times I will work on something else small. I don't need smalls. I need furniture. So I won't be working on any small projects in between. <sighs> just the big stuff. Just furniture. My goal is to at least get the buffet and the waterfall dresser done for this month. A couple larger pieces, but we'll see. Well, I spent $50 and I'm not proud of it. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have. <sighs> I hate that. Because I bought Christmas stuff, which the Christmas sale is over, but this Christmas stuff was kind of good. So, I felt like not going to be here again. And then there was a couple other wall pieces that I went, sorry, it was probably really loud, that I went, I don't know if that's going to fly at Vintage Market, but it was so cool. It was one of those things that if I passed it up, I'd be like, really wish I bought those. So I bought them because they're freaking cool. Wait till I show up to you because I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> But I'm going to go home and I'll show you everything. Y'all, I had to take my lighting rig out of here to take pictures for a Victoria's Archery team yesterday. And I would rather light myself on fire than to ever do that again. Because getting them set back up again is just a nightmare. Yeah, Stacey will do it. <laughs> yeah, she'll do it. Yeah. Anyway, this is everything I got at the thrift store. So these lovelies, first of all. I'm going to put these in my house for Christmas this year because I realized that my house has nothing upstairs. So the basement, we have all our Christmas stuff down there, but this is like a basket, two trees, and they're in the gold glitter. And I thought, oh, that's going to be cute in my living room. And if I don't want to put them next year, I can sell them. So that was $8.50 and $7.50 for those. I heard you when you say you want to hear prices. Um, mirrored tray. So it's got the clips on the back. I am going to pull the mirror out and paint it. Now, Minneapolis Vintage Market says that you can't alter <laughs> the piece in any way. But they didn't say I couldn't repair. So you can see it's got like some of the gold coming off. So I am going to just give it a spritz of a little gold and just kind of bring it back because it's clearly been worn off. Um, I'm going to ask my husband if I can use his spray booth because this is like a, 
tiered tray. It's a good one, right? So I like it. Speaking of many of those vintage burger, this is for display. Um, so she's kind of like Christmassy. But what I thought I'd do is take this little number off. This is just glued on there. And I'll use this to hang the vintage pearls and stuff that I have. Just a little display piece. I've got some other display pieces as well, but I thought this would add a little color to my display just to have it there. I thought it was cute. That was a cute display. And I thought if I leave it behind, I'm going to be upset. And if I change my mind on it, I can always sell it at Picket. So it's cute. I think it's adorable. I think um, it used to be on a stand. But I could still put it on a stand. I mean, I could just, I've got plenty of little pedestals and stuff. I could just glue her up there. It's good, right? I think it's good. I don't like this. I really don't like this. And I think that's just hot glue. So I think if I took that off, like a vintage strand of pearls, I could pin some pins to it. I've got some vintage pins and stuff. I could pin pins to the skirt. I think it's just a good display piece for jewelry. So I'm going to use that. Let's set it over here. I was charmed by this little number. I don't know how old it is, though. Is this like a grandma made piece? But it was $350. It's a little bell that lights up. It's clearly, I think, somebody's ceramic project. But it's got like that dripped. So they would do the gold in this. It's like a weird. You see what I'm saying, right? It's got the iridescent on it. I just thought it was good. So I went with it. I don't know. I don't know. This is what's stressing me out the most about Minneapolis Vintage Market is I don't know what they're looking for. And their guidelines that were like 80s and 90s. And I went, um, 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 I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> like for real, my brain has not switched over to the 80s being vintage, even though at um, Junk Bonanza, like in the spring, it'll be 82. So 1982 is 40 years ago in the spring. So right now it goes to 81. My brain had not clicked over to the 80s. So Minneapolis Vintage Market will be different than I'm used to. And I don't particularly know this is the 80s, but I would assume it is because that's when like the moms were all gung-ho on the ceramics. I <sighs> just fluffed up the ribbon. It looks cute. And if it doesn't sell... It'll be great for next year at Picket. Uh, this is a Tupperware Velveeta cheese holder. $3.50. The, the guy brought it up. And he was a youngin. He's a youngin. Oh, he's probably in his mid to late 20s. But to me, that's a youngin, right? And he goes, this is like a really big butter container. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's for cheese. <laughs> it's for Velveeta cheese. And he goes... Oh, like I use that with Rotel. And I said, yeah, and some people still use it like as cheese. Like that's their cheese of choice. But it's a good vintage Tupperware piece. So I picked it up for $3.50. I don't know what I'll put on it. I haven't sold one before. Another copper cookie cutter. This one's the snowman. Very cute. Again, for next year. Or if any of you were watching and you want to see it. Um, glitter. These were iridescent glitters, and I don't know if these are makeup glitters or glitter glitters. I'm going to do a little research on that because they had it in the makeup, but like this one said mica powder, and I can tell that it's mica powder, and I use that in my, um, it'll come to me, resin pieces, and I wanted to do a few more resin pieces coming up with the 100 Project 100 Days, which we will be starting in January. I know I haven't talked a lot about it, but 
Um, as long as we're under the understanding that part of my projects are going to be getting ready for spring junk bonanza because it's going to fall right in that time. Um, so it's going to be a lot of my project today was pricing. 100 Projects 100 Days coming up starting January 2nd. We never start on the 1st because we're all recovering from being drunk the night before. Okay. But these were cute little glass birds. Just little birds. And you can't go wrong with some glass birds. I don't even know what this is for. But they're like hollow on the bottom. Somebody out there who knows will tell me. I don't really know what they're for. They got a hole in their back too. I guess I didn't notice that. I just suspect these. Now I suspect these have a purpose, but I just was going to use them to put in the little nest that I have. More glitter. So this was, it says teamimage.usa. I think that might be makeup glitter, but there's like a different kind of, I don't know. So these were like copper glitters. And these were oh, fuchsias. So pretty and one of them said mica powder for sure so i don't know these may be cosmetic but i think mica powder is mica powder yeah this is magenta glow mica powder and glitter pink hologram glitter it does not say like cosmetic or anything like that so i will have to I'll have to take a look. But this was a bag of pink ones. I just thought this was a good pillow. It's probably just going to be stuck on a chair at Picket. I didn't even look at the price. Dollar fifty. I could probably do like five bucks on this and it'll sell. Because it's got that good rose. Vintage rose look on it. So that's just going to go on a pillow at Picket. It's not a big deal. These were the ones that I'm kind of kicking myself that I bought them. Because I don't really know. I mean... But they were just unusual. I had not seen them before. So you can see they, they're covered with copper inside. They hang on the wall. So I'm not really sure like what would sit in there. There's no base to it. Like you can't really set anything in there, right? So it's just a wall hanging, a copper wall hanging. But I was sitting there thinking even just sitting on a table, this is kind of cool. Like you could put a candle in it. I think it's just supposed to be artistic. There were two. And a mommy that's like kind of damaged. So I bought all three just because I went, I'm not sure if I'm going to want the big one being damaged. But I thought these just sitting on a table with candles in them would even be cute. They would sort of glow. But I don't know if you want to hang them on a wall. I don't know. I don't know. But I knew they were different enough where if I didn't pick them up, I was going to be kicking myself. So if I haven't seen it before, it's kind of one of those things I should probably buy it. Anyway. These are definitely 80s. They're going to Minneapolis Vintage Market. It's like, I don't know if they would do salt in it. I would think jams and jellies. It's got the little spoon in here, but I'm thinking it's like jellies. I think. I don't know. But this is so quintessential 80s, this type of pottery. In my mind. I mean, this is what I remember. Like, this was so 80s, right? So I'm going to take that. It was three fifty. We're not done yet. Got one more bag. There's only two things in it. So this one, he said this would not have been there if he had seen it. So it's just to hang. And I'm going to use it in the shop next year to hang ornaments from, from the ceiling. Because, I mean, it's just, it's just good, right? It's just good. And I think it'll be great to just hang in the corner. I've got that hanging bracket, actually. That would be cool to hang stuff from. And I guess I could use it all year round to hang things from. 
the glitter is coming off in places. It needs a re-glitter. Um, needs a little love up, a little glow up, but it's, it's good. Last piece. Y'all have seen these before. I actually redid one of these for the 100 Project 100 Days. Um, this one doesn't need a do-over. It's in really good condition. Needs to have some pieces here, like, cleaned up. But I'm taking this to Minneapolis Vintage Market because I am bringing some, uh, like, beauty products that I wanted to have a tray to put them on. And the, the tiered tray, I can do more than just beauty products. But this one, for sure, is like a little beauty tray, right? So like the little makeup pieces that I have, the little vintage compacts and things like that will go in here. That's everything. So if you want to get your The Second Mouse Gets the Cheese shirt, <laughs> they are now available. And actually the pattern, The Second Mouse Gets the Cheese is available on phone cases, bags, shirts, uh, to well, what else? What else was there? I don't know. They had a bunch of new products. And if I thought it kind of made sense, I'd put it on there. Oh, the 3D, not the 3D sticker, but the cutout sticker. I kind of love it. I kind of want to get it. So the second mouse gets the cheese and then it's all uh, die cut around it. That one was really cool. But then there's one that looks more like a, just a bumper sticker kind of sticker. Uh, so if you want to get the second mouse gets the cheese and any of those, click the link below to the store. The first link in the description below will have that and of course any of the other shirts the happy junkin the super junker you had me at junkin and junkin buddy shirts are all available still as well and i think if you ordered today you might still have time to get it by christmas so ah uh, there that's my whole sales pitch for the day if you would like to send me a thrift flip challenge or anything else like send it to the p.o box and if you want to buy me a coffee, it's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. That link is in the description as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy junkin. Bye. Now I get to work on that table. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.